ordinate gas. This is a great opportunity. It, it actually, it has been a great opportunity for me to know this writer, Mr. Imayam. Thanks to Ms. Prabha Sridevan. She asked me to read the manuscript and then give my comments. And I found this book of short stories very original, very interesting, very strong and valid. You know, there is no fire, but there is a lot of heat. There is no big talk in it, but there are very low murmurs. They, they become very significant. And it talks about people engaged in everyday chores. Somebody comes home, there's a boom. What is this? Why is this boom? Mike is booming. Uh, now, the first story is about, uh, again, most of the stories are about women. That I found very, very, very interesting and attractive because until very recently, you know, women never took the center stage. And particularly when uh, there is heroism and protest and that kind of things, you hardly see any women around. But here, Imayam's hero, uh, heroines, lead ladies in these stories, are very, very strong, strong women. When in the first story talks about a woman, obviously she is into her middle age. She's this, she's this such, she cannot explain, you know, she, she had, they, they are children, they are well uh, placed and they are fine, but the husband and wife are there in the house. And she, somehow feels that the, the man is not taking care of her properly, even in terms of sex. She's, she, has a, she feels a certain uh, distancing from him. He, he, she looks at him with a certain kind of uh, dissatisfaction and contempt. Slowly, you know, she spends a whole night, you know, without sleeping. The man, as soon as he, he takes his food, he goes to bed and he snores loud, that's it. So it is all over, you know, they are being together, sharing of their feelings, even of, uh, you know, the bed itself. It's, it's all, you know, something of the past as she worries. And slowly, slowly, you know, after a long, long time, having spent a lot of time, many hours worrying about it, slowly comes back to, to the normal and realizes, after all, this man has been good to her. She could not find a reason why she should hate him. He took, they, he took with, with her, he, they took care of their children well, and the family has no reason to be, to be to be feeling discontent. Slowly, the whole thing, you know, this is this is this, the first story, and this is this is every day's uh, experience in every every family, whether you are rich or poor. This is a universal uh, experience, which is narrated in the first story. And I will not, uh, uh, I'm not going to narrate every story before you, but then 
I just wanted to also uh, to pinpoint a particular story about about electioneering. Because this time of election, the candidate gives everybody money, a fairly good amount of money. He's, he seems to be a rich fellow. He distributes money amongst all these voters. And he find, then when the results come, he, he lost the election. And he and his uh, goons, they, they, they set out to recollect, collect the money back. It's a, it's a great story. It's, it, it talks about the, the, the state of our democracy. Everybody should read this story. Everyone, I recommend it very strongly. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I enjoyed it with the money that was given. She buys, for, they, are, they are poor people. She buys a necklace for her young girl. And uh, she refuses to part with it. She gives all kinds of excuses. Now you have given the money, we have voted for you, you cannot get, uh, take it back, etc. But then they wouldn't stop. They want to do, they, they are on to vandalism. And finally, she is in frustration. She pulls, uh, the, the, pulls the necklace out of the child's neck and then throws it in, in front of him. He says, take it. What a statement. What a statement. And in this whole uh, uh, altercation that was going on, she was boiling rice in the kitchen. So in, with this, uh, it took a long time to argue with them and all that. Finally, she gets a smell from the kitchen because the, 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 the rice that was there on the fire, I know it is all burnt. And she, she you know, places it before the next day, I think. She puts it for the dog, you know. Dog comes and smells it and goes away. It's a fantastic story. So there are, you know, these are just two instances of the stories uh, narrated in this collection. If uh, Ms. Prabha uh, Sridevan had not asked me to read these stories for the comments she wanted, I would have, it would, I would have been a loser in not knowing Ms. Rimayam. And I, 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 I don't want to talk at length. Uh, he was saying that uh, this is, he was telling me before the function started, that this is the first release function of any of his books. So I am so privileged to be a part of this function. Thank you very much. Thank you.